Mrs. Johnston here. Time for knowledge and social studies. We are on Unit 6, Native Americans, Lesson 8, Native Americans today. Before we begin our final story, we are going to review what we have already learned. I am going to pull out the graphic organizer that we did, and we're going to compare and contrast our different Native American tribes. We said that today, students' environment is based off of seasons, that there's a spring, summer, autumn, winter, and that that environment looks different in each of those times. It can be sunny, rainy, cold, snowy, windy. The Lakota Sioux lived on the Great Plains. It was flat, grassy, and had no trees. The Wampanoag lived in the coastal area. The coastal area had forests, lots of water, and green fields. And the Lenape lived in the eastern woodlands that had deciduous forest. So everybody had some type of environment. That is how it was the same. It was different because it was dependent upon where we live or where the tribes lived. Clothing. It was our clothing was all the same. The clothing was meant to keep us warm, to keep us covered, but it was different because of the materials. Students today have material that is used to make our clothing and our boots, shoes, dresses, shirts, jeans use material. The Lakota Sioux's clothes used buffalo fur or parts of buffalo, like their bones, to make their clothing. The Wampanoag used deer, their deer fur, their deer bones, to make their clothing. And the Lenape used bear, deer, elk, raccoon, to make their clothing. So it was the same in that we all had clothing for the same purpose, to keep us clothed and to keep us warm. But it was different because of the type of product it was made from. Next is food. Today, students use food that is common to where they live. So we get things off of farms like steak, or pork, or chicken, and crops that are local, like corn, potatoes, carrots, or things that you might grow in your own garden. The Lakota Sioux lived off of buffalo. They followed the buffalo during different seasons. The Wampanoag ate clams, fish, because of being on the coast but they also planted crops such as corn and potatoes. The Lenape ate bear, deer, elk, berries, nuts, and crops, which was local to where they were located. So we all are the same in that we need food to survive, but depending on where we live, determines the type of food that we eat. Shelter. Shelter is important because we all need a place to go to keep us out of the weather and protect us from animals. Today, people live in houses, apartments, trailers. The Lakota Sioux lived in shelters called teepees. They were made from sticks and buffalo hide. The Wampanoag lived in Weetus, which were made from bent saplings and bark. The Lenape lived in wigwams. Those two were made from
from sapling and bark, but also fur and rushes. It just shows you how everybody all needs environment, clothing, food, shelter to survive, but how each of us had our own way of making clothing and our own food that we preferred to eat and what our shelters looked like. Before we begin our story, I'm going to ask you two questions. If the answer to my question is yes, I want you to give me a thumbs up. If the answer to my question is no, I want you to give me a thumbs down. There are many different American tribes. Did you give Mrs. Johnston a thumbs up? If you did, great job. There are not any Native Americans living in the United States anymore. Did you give Mrs. Johnston a thumbs down? If you did, that is correct also. Today's story, I want you to listen carefully to the read aloud to find out about Native Americans today. Anishibe, Mohawk, Kochuta, Cray, Dakota, Chita, Opi, Way, Iroquois, Mi'kmaq, Craw, Wampanoag, Shanae, Blackfeet, and Sioux. All these and many other Native American tribes spread out across the Northern American continent thousands of years ago. They are still here today. Long ago, these Native Americans hunted, farmed, and fished for their food, shelter, and clothing. Rabbits, turkeys, and squirrels dotted the forests. Buffalo, elk, and deer roamed freely about the land. Fish, clams, and whales filled the oceans, rivers, and streams. From the open plains to the forested woodlands to the coastal waters, Native Americans taught themselves how to live in harmony or in agreement with nature. They were hunters and farmers and fishermen. Today, some Native American tribes still hunt and farm and fish. But the North American continent looks vastly different now, and they no longer just live entirely off the land. Today, many of the forests have disappeared. Highways have replaced the buffalo across the open plains, and many and many rivers and streams no longer have great numbers of fish swimming in them. So how do the Native Americans live today? What do they eat? Where do they sleep? What do they wear? What do you think? Native Americans today still eat corn, squash, fish, and meat, just as they have always done. But they buy it in supermarkets. Native Americans today may use pueblos, teepees, witus, and hogans some of the time. But most sleep in houses, apartments, and mobile homes as their main homes. Native Americans today no longer wear fringed leggings and deerskin moccasins. Here the word wear means to be dressed in something. They wear jeans and sneakers and other clothing worn by other Americans. But many Native Americans still remember their tribal traditions of long ago. Traditions or customs or ways of doing things that are passed down from generation to generation. 
the Wampanoags have clam, blake, clam bakes along the coast of Massachusetts today, just like the Wampanoag bear, gull, and crow attended. The Lakota Sioux have elaborate ceremonies with dancing, drumming, and singing on the plains of North and South Dakota. The Lenape still pass down their stories to their children and grandchildren and still hold their traditional celebrations. Native American powwows. Powwows or gatherings of Native American tribes are held all across the United States today. At these powwows, the people often dress in Native clothes, trimmed with beads, feathers, shells, and bones. It is there that Native Americans honor the past and tell family stories. Penascot, Navajo, Cherokee, Tos, Rapananak, Tuscarora, Shincock, Kaw, Walla Walla, Umpqua, Zuni, Oot. These are just a few of the many, many Native American tribes living in the United States today. They were the first known people here, and for many years, they were the only people here. Today, they share their land with people all over the world. How do Native Americans keep their traditions and cultures alive today? Native Americans still eat similar food, hold powwows, and pass down family stories. Are there still Native Americans living in the United States today? Yes, there are still Native Americans living in the United States today. How does the author describe how Native Americans live today? What does the author say? What do they eat and where? Where do they sleep? The author said that they still eat corn, squash, fish, and meat, just like they've always done. But now they buy it in supermarkets. They said that their clothing, they no longer wear fringed leggings and deerskin, but they wear jeans, sneakers, and other clothing. They live in houses, apartments, and mobile homes instead of teepees, wetus, and wigwams. I want you to turn to the adult helping you today, and I want you to talk about this question. Do you think it is important for Native Americans to keep their traditions alive today? Why or why not? And I hope you enjoyed our last story learning about Native Americans.